There's a movement on the rangelands of western Wyoming, and it's good. The good old days for Wyoming's rangelands are today, because the rangelands of yesteryear saw range conditions which weren't nearly as good as they are today. There are reasons for Wyoming's improving rangelands. Maybe the first reason was the winter of 1886 to 87, which to a large degree doomed large-scale open-range grazing. Entire herds were lost, as were the cattle barons, and fences and haying operations suddenly made sense. A great second reason might have been the Taylor Grazing Act in 1934, which began the regulation of grazing on federal lands. And today, more and more ranchers are applying newly acquired knowledge of rangeland ecology and range management science towards their management of rangeland. We can all be proud of the fact that more and more ranchers are beginning to actively monitor their impact on range and the condition of the rangeland they graze. Ranchers monitoring rangeland, largely a phenomenon of the past 20 years, is largely the result of efforts on the part of ranchers to enhance their knowledge of their resources and how cattle integrate into a healthy rangeland. The demands and the opportunities on today's ranchers are much more than just animal husbandry. From the University of Wyoming Cooperative Extension Service, I'm Eric Peterson.